I'm Elisa, pastry chef over at the Loveless Cafe, and since it's fresh berry season, I thought I'd make a batch of naked berry pies and show you how to do it as well. Here we have all of our fresh berries, and we're going to combine them with some sugar and flour and some freshly grated orange zest. Really a great thing to add to berries. Adds a lot of flavor, and then you get to eat the orange when you're done, so that's always fun. We mix the fresh zest with some cardamom. There's just something so magical about the flavor of cardamom when it's combined with fresh berries and citrus. This is just some vanilla extract, and I'm going to take all these things and I rub it all together. This way I get all the orange zest broken up and coated with the sugar and the flour. The flour is added because these berries are going to give off an awful lot of juice, and that will help thicken the pie filling. Some blackberries some raspberries and some blueberries. I'm going to cut up the strawberries since they're so much bigger than everything else. I am going to take all of these berries that we just measured out and toss them gently with the sugar and the flour because I want them to get coated, but I don't want to really smash them. One of the most common things that people say to me is they're afraid to make a pie. They could never make a pie because it's just so difficult to work with. It's not difficult and you have to take your time. The best thing would be to start out with a dough that's more forgiving. Pie dough, if you overwork it, it's done. You can't keep re-rolling it, but this is more like a cookie dough. It's really rich. It has a lot of butter, some sugar, and egg yolks in it, and it just makes it so much easier to work with, especially for a beginner. When I roll a dough, if I'm trying to get a circle as the finished product, I start out with a circle, which is why these are somewhat round. The best thing to do is to keep turning your dough Make sure your surface is well floured, both below and on top, and your dough will not stick. And then just keep rolling it. And then we're going to carefully place it on a pan. As we've got our crust lined up on the sheet pan. We're going to scoop up some of the filling, and we're just going to place it in the middle. And remember, these aren't supposed to look perfect, so don't worry if the fruit isn't in a perfect little circle. It doesn't matter. By the time it gets baked, nobody's going to know. Now this is the best part about making pies like this. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. So you're just going to gently fold up some of the filling. You start with one piece and then just keep folding and you overlap. Just keep overlapping until you finally come up to the end and then you just bring it in. And that's it. See, it makes like a pocket. There's a little bit of an opening to let some of that steam escape so it won't, hopefully won't burst it. Then we're gonna brush it with a little bit of egg wash. It's gonna add a little bit of a shine to it. It's gonna help it color and it's gonna give the sugar crystals that we're going to be putting on in a moment a way to stick. And once we get all of the egg wash on, we just take some of these pretty sugar crystals and just sprinkle them around. You can just use regular table sugar and it'll be fine. Now that we've got these all assembled, painted and ready to go, we are going to take these next door to the oven. We're going to use this oven and we're just going to put these in here at 350 and they should take about 20 minutes. Well, it's been at least 20 minutes and here they are, nice and golden brown. The juices are bubbling. That means that the filling is cooked and they are ready to go. And that's how you make naked berry pie. Oh, cool. That looks awesome. Delicious. That is great. Delicious. We had so many requests for recipes for my desserts that I had no choice but to write another book, Desserts from the Famous Loveless Cafe. And it has the recipe for the naked berry pie along with the dough that I used in it as well as lots of other great dessert recipes.